This is video series. Some things may seem out of context. Please watch the other videos as well. Finally, let me show you how you can export the information about layered structure in Excel file or CSV. I'll use Excel. So if I go to the tool and click export layer schedule, I can use these checkboxes to basically choose what I want. So for example, I can switch on and off if I want layers, widths and layers and widths separately. So whenever I click apply, I will see the preview happening here. What is also important is that information displayed here is linked to how you set up the tool in additional settings. So let me demonstrate. For example, if I want widths without the millimeters or other units, let me go back here to additional settings. And for the widths, I just want to have the width without the unit. Apply and close and go back here. Other interesting features may be, for example, you can reverse floor or maybe better wall layers, but let me reverse the floors because they are here on the top so you can see what's happening. Okay, next thing is you can play with how the elements are arranged inside Excel spreadsheet. For example, you can create a different sheet for each Revit category. That way you will not have this column category here. Whatever changes you are making, you can see the preview here, or you can go straight to Excel and see there. Finally, when you are done with your customization, you can view it in Excel and you can save the file or you can click the save as button here and save your file directly.